During this video, we will review the current VOC regulations for products used in the commercial roofing industry. There will also be a demonstration of the proper installation techniques regarding some of our low VOC adhesives that are currently available. The Ozone Transportation Commission, or OTC, is made up of the 13 northeastern states. In January of 2009, certain member states of the OTC implemented limits on the amount of volatile organic compounds that can be used in hundreds of commercial and industrial solvent-based adhesives, sealants, primers, and cleaners in an effort to reduce the amount of ground-level ozone or smog. Many of the member states that required VOC-compliant materials allowed a seasonal approach from 2009 through 2011, where low VOC materials were required during the months of May through September. This seasonal approach allowed us to refine and improve our VOC-compliant products for use during the winter months. As a result of these efforts, we have successfully developed our low VOC bonding adhesives and low VOC primers that work well on a year-round basis. As of January 1, 2012, it is required that low VOC products are used on a year-round basis in most of the OTC member states. As a result, we are not able to sell or ship non-compliant products into these locations after January 1st. For a complete list of states with VOC restrictions, please contact your local sales representative or visit our website for the most recent information. The VOC regulations require that adhesives and primers must have a VOC content of 250 grams per liter or less, and sealants must have a VOC content of 450 grams per liter or less. Our low VOC bonding adhesives and low VOC primers meet the 250 grams per liter requirement. Our sealants will not be affected by these regulations based upon their packaging size. New York is requiring that our cut edge sealants be packaged in eight ounce bottles and two bottles per carton. The regulations do not measure our cleaners by the VOC content. They are measured by the vapor pressure. As such, our weather membrane cleaner and PVC membrane cleaner will not be affected by these regulations. In addition to our low VOC bonding adhesives, we offer a number of different options to fully adhere our membranes. Some of these products have temperature and installation restrictions. Please refer to our system specifications and product data sheets for further information. Our different options to provide a premium, fully adhered roofing system include low VOC bonding adhesive for EPDM and TPO, PVC low VOC bonding adhesive, Aquabase 120 for EPDM, TPO, PVC, and fleeceback membranes, solvent free EPDM bonding adhesive, DASH adhesive for fleeceback membranes, cold applied adhesive for fleeceback AC membranes, low VOC EPDM and TPO primers, CAV grip and 702 LV for the 725TR air and vapor barrier. In addition to our VOC compliant adhesives, we also offer alternative roofing systems that meet these regulations, such as mechanically fastened roofing systems, ballasted roofing systems, peel and stick TPO, Rhinobond for TPO and PVC. We will now provide a demonstration of our Aquabase 120 bonding adhesive, low VOC bonding adhesive, and solvent-free EPDM bonding adhesive. We will also discuss different tips and techniques to installing these adhesives so that you can use them in the most efficient manner. Aquabase 120 bonding adhesive is a water-based adhesive and as a result has some unique characteristics. It can be used with our EPDM, TPO, PVC, and fleeceback membranes. It is non-flammable and has almost no odor. This product must be protected from freezing. If the adhesive experiences freezing temperatures, it cannot be used and must be discarded. This product must be applied at temperatures 40 degrees Fahrenheit and above. The temperature cannot drop below 32 degrees Fahrenheit within 72 hours of application to ensure that the adhesive does not freeze. This adhesive must be thoroughly mixed prior to use. This adhesive has a coverage rate of 100 to 120 square feet per gallon and is typically installed using a nine inch roller. For EPDM, TPO, and PVC membranes, it is applied as a contact adhesive where both the substrate and membrane are coated. For fleeceback membranes, 
it is applied as a wet lay-in where only the substrate is coated. The coverage rate is the same for either the contact adhesive or wet lay-in application. When applying the adhesive, make sure that the adhesive is not applied heavily around insulation joints. If it is applied heavily in these areas, the adhesive may dive between the insulation boards and take much longer to dry. The drying time of this adhesive will vary based on the amount of sun, humidity, temperature, and other ambient conditions. The adhesive must be checked to ensure it is dry properly before installing the membrane. This is accomplished by touching the adhesive in several areas with a clean, dry finger, and no adhesive should transfer to your finger. Also be sure that the adhesive has not overdried and remains tacky, but not wet when mating the membrane to the substrate. If the adhesive overdries, apply more bonding adhesive over the affected area and conduct the tack test until it is ready. When it is used as a wet lay-in, install the membrane immediately after applying the adhesive. After the membrane is installed, the membrane must be broomed in place to ensure proper contact between the membrane and substrate. For applications using Aquabase 120 as a contact adhesive, this is accomplished using a stiff bristle broom. For applications where Aquabase 120 is used as a wet lay-in, it is required to roll the entire area with a minimum of a 100 pound weighted roller. Low VOC bonding adhesive is a solvent-based adhesive that can be used with EPDM and TPO membranes. This adhesive is the most similar to our non-compliant adhesives in respect to application and codes or ratings. The only exception is that there are no FM ratings when using this adhesive with EPDM and Denstec Prime. This adhesive should be stored at a minimum of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Keeping the adhesive as warm as long as possible will result in a more user-friendly application. Although the solvents are VOC compliant, they have a strong odor, and precautions must be taken during installation, such as covering or shutting off intake vents. This adhesive must be thoroughly mixed prior to use. If it is not thoroughly mixed, the adhesive will not work as designed. After trying many different mixing paddles, I have found this one to work the best. It is available from any home improvement store and is usually found in the floor tile section with the mortar mixing paddles. The adhesive must be mixed on the day it will be used because the adhesive will begin to separate 24 hours after mixing. Here is a sample of adhesive that has been in stock for several months. This shows the most extreme case of separation of the adhesive. This is a sample of adhesive that was mixed three days ago. As you can see, the separation is a quick process. This is what you will typically see when you open a can of adhesive. When mixing of our adhesives is required, the pale lid must be removed. In an effort to help facilitate this process, we are introducing the locking ring lid. This accessory allows contractors to replace the factory lid with the locking ring lid in a fast and easy manner. And when it's used with a mechanical roller spreader, there's no worry of the pale lid leaking. The locking ring lid is meant for rooftop use only and adhesives cannot be transported using these lids. For EPDM and TPO membranes, low VOC bonding adhesive is applied as a contact adhesive where both the substrate and membrane are coated. This adhesive has a coverage rate of 60 square feet per gallon and is typically installed using a nine inch roller. This application demonstrates what 60 square feet per gallon looks like. When used as a contact adhesive, the drying time will vary based on ambient conditions. The adhesive must be checked to ensure it is flash off properly before installing the membrane. This is accomplished by touching the adhesive in several areas with a clean, dry finger, and the adhesive should not transfer to your finger. Also, be sure that the adhesive is not overdried and remains tacky, but not wet when mating the membrane to the substrate. If the adhesive overdries, apply more bonding adhesive over the affected area and conduct the touch test until it is ready. After the membrane is installed, the membrane must be broomed in place with a stiff bristle broom to ensure proper contact between the membrane and substrate. Solvent-free EPDM bonding adhesive is a polymer-based adhesive and as a result has some unique characteristics. It can only be used with our non-reinforced EPDM membranes. This adhesive is non-flammable and has almost no odor. This is a heat 
and moisture curing product and must be applied at temperatures 40 degrees Fahrenheit and above. The temperature cannot drop below 40 degrees Fahrenheit within eight hours of application to ensure that the adhesive is allowed to cure. The adhesive will typically begin to cure 20 minutes after application and will be fully cured within four hours. These times are dependent upon the amount of sun, humidity, temperature, and other ambient conditions. This adhesive does not require mixing. This adhesive has a coverage rate of 100 square feet per gallon and is typically installed using a mechanical roller spreader. When a mechanical roller spreader with a tub is used, half inch holes are placed half inch on center. When a mechanical roller spreader with a pail is used, quarter inch holes are placed half inch on center. This adhesive is applied as a wet lay-in where only the substrate is coated. As a result of this, the adhesive is limited to a 1 inch in 12 slope for this type of application. For vertical surfaces, such as walls or curbs, the adhesive is applied as a contact adhesive where both the substrate and membrane are coated at the 100 square feet per gallon coverage rate. Before installing the membrane, you must wait for the adhesive to gain tack, which usually occurs after 20 minutes, but this is dependent upon ambient conditions. All roller covers that come in contact with the adhesive must be replaced on a daily basis. It is also recommended to clean out the holes on the mechanical roller spreader daily to ensure that the proper coverage rate is met. When applying the adhesive using a mechanical roller spreader, the adhesive must be back rolled to ensure even coverage. This demonstration shows what 100 square feet per gallon looks like. After applying the adhesive, the membrane should be installed immediately. After the membrane is installed, the membrane must be rolled into place using a minimum 100 pound weighted roller to ensure proper contact between the membrane and substrate. If you have any questions regarding the regulations, products, or roofing systems, please contact your local sales representative or visit our website for the most recent information.